Hey everybody, come here, Matt back. Welcome you back to Mario Golf, the ring shots. We are going to go ahead and do Koopa Park here, and as you can see, I messed this hole up. So, we're going to start over here. But, um, yeah, my first shot, I was just kind of testing the waters. I ended up hitting it way too, too, um, I ended up hitting it in the rough, so I just decided to start over. Uh, as you can see, all three of the rings on this hole are all lined up here so it's not that bad of a shot take advantage of your spin here that way you don't end up in that far bunker over there spin it towards the right side of the screen that way you can avoid that bunker I ended up going a little bit too far there I'm in the rough but nothing I cannot handle I gotta, I gotta say this is kinda weird I've never done a voiceover before so eh. talking in foresight it's kinda weird <coughs> And that was a pretty sweet shot, I'm not going to lie. Right in there. And that's the hole. First one's done. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the second hole. Now I actually did this a little unorthodox. So, whatever, it worked. As you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and make the drive. I'm not going to make it over. I'm going to get the ring, but I'm going to hit it in the water. What you want to do is you want to try to aim for that center island and then hit it through the ring if you did not get the ring yet. But since it's a pretty short par 4, you can get it in on 3 and then par, uh, one putt for par if you feel more comfortable with that. And I'm less than 10 feet from the hole, so I mean it's not that difficult of a putt. So I want to try to keep it. You obviously want to give yourself as many putts as you need, but... If not, it doesn't really matter. Very well and now we open up the third course. But anyways, we are on to hole three. This is a pretty, diff pretty difficult hole, and I don't know why I decided to play at the wind that I'm playing with. But... That's an odd cut. Okay. <laughs> nice job. I might have forgotten to delete that. Oh well. Anyways, um, yeah, you want to make sure you're using your spins again you want to try to set up your sh next shot as well as possible so what you're going to want to do is you want to I don't know I might have wanted to spin to the, to the left on that one but I mean I guess I did not but yeah the third the second and third shots pretty straightforward the first shot you do want to put your curve on that that way you make sure you're not in the bunker over there because that'd be bad and you want to give yourself as little you don't want to give yourself too little distance but you also want to make sure you give yourself and you don't give yourself too much distance that you're not going to get it and as you can see I just barely <laughs> made that ring and then we're going to get almost a chip in but instead we're just going to go ahead and two putt it and par the hole and then I got a couple of mistakes here First shot, I just completely missed the ring. <laughs> Not even close. And I ended up at the bunker. It's a double whammy. Then my second shot here, once again, just barely missed the ring. Actually, I didn't barely miss that ring at all. I missed that just completely. So this hole, this hole is a pain. Hide and go ring. This is not a fun hole. Hole number four. That ring, there's one ring and it's hidden within those trees. Now getting your shot correct on this hole is very important. That first shot's gonna either make or break this hole. Cause you're gonna wanna have to you're gonna have to lie and drive it pretty much. So you wanna give yourself a nice set, and I gave myself a perfect lie here. You can see I'm gonna try to just barely curve it in because I because at the current moment in time that ball is aiming right out of the pin. It's not going to really do what I wanted it to do. It's going to go in the bunker. But, I mean, I still got two more putts. If I could do a nice approach here, I can easily putt it in for four. Lay it 14 feet from the hole. Not a, not a terribly difficult putt, but... And it's in. <laughs> and then you'll, you'll see quite a bit of mistakes here. The first shot here, way too close to the to the uh, ring. It was absolutely physically impossible to make that shot. The second one was even worse. <laughs> it was right on top of the 
top of the ring. You want to make sure you give yourself enough distance to make that shot. My third shot, I was far too far back, and I ended up hitting over. Even with shooting it low and shooting it right. Now, I don't know how I missed this ring. Actually, I didn't. And actually, this is a really nice shot. Nice curve, nice everything. However, the rest of it wasn't all that great. So within 33 feet, my first putt is okay. It's within 10 feet. And now my second putt... Yeah. Yeah. I was about to throw my computer, my controller away. I was really, really sad. Now, Power Pass the Pond. I tried to start this out with Mabel, because I have done it as Mabel before. But in this case, it's not going to work. You want to try to give yourself as much wind as you possibly can. Or get yourself a hard, hard, hard hitter. As you can see here, I'm going to try to power it. I'm going to try to get it past the pond again. But the result is... You're getting up there, but of course, I need to get on the green. Because that's my last putt, so I decided to quit the hole. I tried again, and this one's even, this is even worse. Just even more worse. Didn't even get the ring, I believe. Nope. Now try one more time. One's gonna hit a fine. But it looked like it might have stuck. I thought I was hoping it would have stuck, because that would have been awesome. But it just keeps on rolling and rolling into the hole. So then I decided to get my hard hitter. This is Metal Mario. And the reason why I don't use him more often, he is the most powerful hitter in the game, is because I cannot hit a fade to save my life. I, I do not understand how to hit it. I'm really bad at it. That's why I use Mabel. And that, that shot was awful. <laughs> it's absolutely, absolutely awful. So then we try again. And now I miss the ring because I don't know how to play the fade. So I move my cursor over a little bit. And don't know how I missed that one. So finally I said fuck it and tried it again and finally hit the ring. Ta-da. So get yourself a power player. Uh, Metal Mario is unlocked by getting every single birdie medal in the tournaments. Which I did by myself over the summer. It was quite a task. Excellent. And that was a pretty good putt. So. It's a simple little tap tap, and this hole is finally over. And Mario gets a star. Congratulations. <clears throat> so now, this, this hole also gave me a little bit of trouble. I do not know why I decided to play with wind and rain. It was pretty stupid. On this hole, you don't really want too much wind, and you really don't want the rain. I don't know why I did that. But the arches, they're kind of annoying. Uh, you just need to make sure that your uh, grid box is underneath a ring. And just let it roll into the ring. The third ring is the hardest to hit, but it's still not all that difficult. If you can't hit the ring exactly, you want to make sure you're on the left side of it on this ring here, coming up here. That way, you can just use it. You can just drive it onto the green. Now, the the wind going to the right here actually helps a little bit because it's going to curve it into the ring, which works. As you can see here, I'm just a couple feet away from the ring, so all I have to do is tap it in there. Nice and easy. And that puts me 20 feet from, which is still a pretty difficult putt, but I'm awesome and I'm going to make this putt. Because I said I am. Ta-da! How did I know that? It's editing magic or something. Alright, and then I got a couple of mistakes and then that's going to be the end of the video. Next time we're going to go ahead and go on to the dry dry desert and more fun stuff. Just barely missed that putt. That wasn't that bad of a putt from there. And then here I should have made this putt, but uh... just came up short. And I got pretty much the same exact putt, except this time I'm gonna go... yeah. And now this one, I'm not even close. Yeah. Other side of the green, baby. And then finally, yeah, 
as you can see, I didn't have too much problem with the rings themselves. I just could not putt to save my life. Oh, so that's no. it. See you guys.